Miss Karma Jones Book 2. Carmen was pissed she began to drive fast talking to herself. I don't believe this fucking guy she says finally slowing the car down. He has the nerve to talk shit to me. And he has a whole wife at home. I should have stopped this years ago. This shit has gotten way out of hand. Okay girl calm down. I don't want to take my anger out on Puma. He has nothing to do with this. Carmen was about three blocks from where she'd dropped Puma off. She takes out her cell phone and quickly dials the number. Puma picks up on the first ring. Yes my queen are you out front? I'm pulling up as we speak. You could come out now. Dot. Puma waves at the men at the front desk and makes his way to the front door. Hey Oscar he yells. Tell your wife. I have that Kaya van she asked about. Okay I sure will Puma. Thank you. Demetri Nolifant 6. By the time Puma reaches the door, Carmen was pulling over to the curb. He gets in the car drives away. Puma leans over to kiss Carmen. Dot. Did you enjoy your shopping spree my queen? Yes king but. That wasn't a shopping spree. It was just a pass through. Puma laughed. What my love. Before Carmen could respond he says never mind love. One day soon I'll let you go on a shopping spree. Carmen blushed like a child. Okay king I can't wait. Puma's phone rings. Yo. I have that for you. The voice says. Puma cracks a smile. Dot. Okay my guy I'll be right over. Pull over my love. He says pointing. To a spot by the curb. Switch seats with me. I have to stop by my friend's house to pick up some paperwork. He and Carmen switch seats. He puts the car in gear. And pulls off in a hurry. Demetri Nolifant 7. Is everything okay King? Yes my love. I need to get over there before he leaves for work. Ah okay Carmen says reclining her seat enjoying the ride. Carmen was bothered. By the argument she and Moses had earlier. She wondered when would be the best time to tell Puma. Moses was a cop. And she was ready to move on. Maybe I'll tell him tonight over dinner. We'll see she says closing her eyes. Puma drove in silence trying to figure out the best way to move the vehicle full of drugs. He looks over at Carmen and smiles. About 10 minutes away from his destination he woke her. Yes King she says with her eyes still closed. I'm going to take this car to get an oil change. I need you to take that car down to my condo. Carmen was trying to process what he had just said to her. Dot. I'm sorry King. I didn't hear you at first my mind was somewhere else but okay. You can take your bags with you. So you could change. Your clothing if you'd like. We're going to go out for lunch when I get there. Puma says kissing her on the forehead. Demetri Nolifant 8. Okay King. Sounds like a plan she says. Dot. Puma pulls over. Carmen grabs her bags from the backseat walking them to the trunk of the Toyota. Put them in the backseat love you don't want your things to get dirty or damaged. Dot. Carmen didn't think much of it. She did as she was instructed. The keys are in the armrest my love he says. Dot. Carmen retrieves the keys. Starts the car then pulls off. Puma followed her to the expressway. Dot. He followers. Her about five miles before he goes his separate way. Puma calls her phone. Yes king. Call me as soon as you get to the condo. My love okay. I sure will king. As a matter of fact I'm going to take me a shower get dressed. Then wait for you. Sounds good queen. I'll see you shortly. They both hang up. Puma's phone rings. Yes. Dot. Demetri Nolifant 9. Hi brother are you busy? Dot. No Adis what's going on? Well I was calling to see what time I had to pick up the Toyota. It's on the way right now give it about an hour before you come and get it. Dot. Okay I will give Mark instructions on what he needs to do. Oh okay. You're sending Mark? Tell him I said hello and make sure he comes to the feast I need to speak with him. Dot. Okay Puma. I will do just that. Have a nice day she says hanging up the phone. Puma made call after call running play. After. Play. He did most of the financial business himself. Adis handled the drugs and the business affairs for the family. She and Puma were not only brother and sister, but the very best of friends. He would lay his life on the line for her as she would him without thinking twice about it. Puma's phone rings. Yo he answers. I'm pulling into the garage king. Demetri Nolifant 10. Perfect my love he says with a devilish grin on his pitch black face. Dot. Put the keys in the armrest my love, and make sure you leave the door unlocked for the driver. I did king. Thank you my love. Now go in and make yourself at home. The wine is on ice already and there's plenty of food if you get hungry. I'll be there shortly. Dot. Okay king I'll see you when you get here. Carmen fell in love with the place as soon as she stepped in. Oh my god she says sitting her bags on the sofa. Dot. White leather furniture. African artifacts all around. Even a leopard skin rug on the floor. 
Not to mention the amazing view. It was perfect she thought or was it? I should ask Puma to sell my house and get me a condo just like this. She says looking around the place. I'm sick of Moses anyway. Her phone rings. Demetrine Oliphant 11. Hello. Dot. Hello my sister. How are you today the voice said softly. I'm fine Adis how are you? Dot. Well I'm breathing so I'm grateful for that most of all. I was calling to see if you left the car keys in the armrest? Yes. I did Puma told me already. Okay my sister thank you so much I'll talk to you later. Moses checks into a room. Dot. What a way to start your fucking day he says flopping down in the worn love seat. His mind was all over the place he didn't have a clue of his next move. I need to find Andre he says as he got up pacing the floor. I have to find out what the real deal with him and Samaje before this shit gets too out of hand. His phone rings. Yo what's good partner the voice says on the other end? Shit really bout to step out and get some air. Samaje what's up with you? Demetrine Oliphant 12. Nothing much just sliding around checking my traps. Ah uh, okay. That's what's up. Moses says not really giving a shit what the man was doing. Call me when you come out Mo. I need to talk to you about. Something. No problem my brother. He says before hanging up the phone. Moses unpacks his things putting them in their place. He then gets his shower gear gets in and out shortly after. Dot. He gets dressed then heads out the door. Walking swiftly across the lobby. To the parking lot. He looks around before getting in the car. Everything seemed to be normal he says getting in the car smashing. Off. I need to shoot by that car wash and that corner store to see if I could find this fat bastard. This shit could get critical. Moses drove in silence thinking about his wife as well as Carmen. Dot. I can't really get mad at Carmen it was only a matter of time before she'd get sick of my shit. But my wife that's totally another story. She knows how I feel about her. Demetrine Oliphant 13. Moses drives past the corner store. He does a double take. Dot. Bingo he says making a U-turn at the corner. He spots Andre's car. He pulls over a couple of spots away from it. He turns the car off then waits. Dot. About 10 minutes later Andre's wife walks out heading toward the car. Should I follow her or just get out and talk to her? Fuck it he says getting out the car. Excuse me sweetie. He says walking in her direction. Can I ask you something? She never answers. She stopped. In her tracks. As if she wasn't even worried that a strange man was slowly approaching her. Yes. She says nonchalantly. Dot. Hello sweetie my name is. Before he could get another word out she completed a sentence for him. I know who the hell you are. Now what may I help you with sir? Dot. I need to talk to Andre. It's very important Moses says with a straight face. What the fuck did he do now she says shaking her head. Demetrine Oliphant 14. Oh nothing Moses says. It's not that type of party honey. I just really need to talk to him it's sort of personal. Moses goes into his wallet whipping out a card. Can you give this to him for me please? I'll tell you what. I'm going back into the store. Toss it in the window. When you see me start to turn and walk away. Too many eyes around here. If you know what I mean. Oh yeah I can dig it. Moses says. The lady turns her back to Moses then walks away. Moses tosses the card on the front seat. He walks back to his car. Gets in then smashes. Off. I hope like hell she gives him that number. He says heading toward the cafe to get himself a cup of coffee. And a sandwich. Samaj sitting down the block watching his partner's every move. I wonder what the fuck that was all about. He says watching. Andre's wife walk back to the car. She gets in the car starts it up then smashes off. Samaje follows. Little did he know he was being followed as well. He never pays attention to his rear view mirror. Demetrine Oliphant 15. Samaj follows her for about 6 or 7 miles. She turns off into a small apartment complex on the east side of Chicago. Dot. Samaje keeps on riding trying to see which unit she was going to, but it was too late. The place was out of eyesight. Samaj calls Moses a second time. Dot. The phone rings. Yo Moses says picking up on the first ring. Dot. What's up partner? Are you out yet Samaje says? Yeah. I just came out. I'm on my way to the cafe where you at? I had to make a move but I'm on my way back to the city. Dot. Ah okay. Moses said in his own thoughts. How long are you going to be there Mo? Dot. I'll be here for a while. Do you want me to order you something bro? Not I'm good Mo. My old lady made me something to go this morning. Dot. Samaje shakes his head. Now either he's lying to me. Or he just left out the small details about getting up with Andre's wife. Either way his. Demetrine Oliphant 16. Slick ass. Is up to something. 
I can feel it in my gut he says mashing the gas. Well let's just see if he mentions it to me Samaj A said swiftly. Approaching the cafe, Samaj swings into the parking lot turns the car off then makes his way inside. Dot. Samaj A waves to everybody, then makes his way to the back where his partner was sitting. Top of the morning brother Moses, he says with a fake smile on his face. Dot. Moses looks up out of his newspaper. Top of the morning partner, he says putting his head back down. Hey Mo, did you hear Duffy has a new partner? Dot. No I didn't. What happened to the other shithead? Well from what I'm hearing, he transferred. Now the big question is why Samaj A says with a crazy look on his face, as if Moses had an answer for him. Shit who knows Moses states. Dot. The new guy is a bigger douchebag than the first one I heard. Ah oh, wow. That's all we needed Moses said shaking his head never making eye contact with Samaj A. Dimitri Nolifant 17. Moses sits the paper down. Man I don't know what they putting in the coffee these days but whatever it is it makes me piss more than beer. He says heading toward the bathroom. I'll be back shortly he says walking away from the table. Dot. Samaj A watches him all the way to the bathroom. As soon as the door closes behind him. Samaj A flips the paper over to see what his partner was looking at. Property. Homo he says flipping the paper back over. I wonder what that is all about. He says thinking to himself. Maybe he's looking to purchase something else. I'll play it by ear. He's bound to slip up and say something. Dot. Moses was heading back to the table. He sits down with a blank stare on his face. Damn partner. You look as if you just lost your dog. Is everything alright with you? Dot. Honestly. Samaj A no. Shit is it anything I can do to help you my brother? Yeah you're part of what's wrong you greedy fucking idiot. He says to himself. Moses. Dimitri Oliphant 18. My bad bro. My mind is all over the damn place. What were you saying? Dot. I said is it anything I could do to help Mo? I can't really say at the moment. But as soon as I figure it out I'll let you know. Okay. Cool. Samaj A says with a fake. Smile on his face. Fuck it Moses says looking Samaj A in the eyes. Dot. Carmen put me out her house and my fucking wife hasn't returned any of my calls or text messages in days. And now I'm sleeping in a hotel. Are you serious Mo? Dot. Would I say the shit if I wasn't my brother? So why don't you just go home Mo? I don't know bro. Well to be quite honest my house brings back too many memories. And I just got the funniest feeling my wife has stepped. Out on me with her punk ass boss. Dig if you want. I could put the investigator on her. This lady is a beast and she's cheap. Moses wasn't too sure at first. I don't know Samaj A. That sounds like some stalking shit to me. Samaj laughs. Demetri Nolifant 19. Man you crazy mo.